name is Noah and I'm a second year machining student here at Lake Area Technical College. And I am a Build Dakota student, so that is very helpful. And this right here is the Trax machine, which uh, basically Trax machines are just like conversational CNC's. Um, people use them, some people use them in like dye and mold shops. They're helpful for that, stuff like that. But what we use them for is just to run some graphite parts like you see right here. Um, and basically what we're doing is we're just putting our initials into that block, which we use a Gibbs program for, so we also get an introduction into that. Um, basically we're just gonna kinda show you what goes on here. And we write these programs just in the machine. And I'm gonna show you the tool path also here. But, so when you're ready, you just press go. And it'll make sure that you got the tool in. You just press go again. Turn the spindle on. And it's gonna come down and do my initials. So this is, would be like one of my classmates example of what I was cutting over there. But basically we just put our initials in that graphite block. And then we put it in, uh, this is a sinker EDM, which EDM just stands for elect electrical discharge machining. And basically um, the one in there right now is gonna be different initials, but this is on the top part up here. And this is gonna just be like a flat piece of stock that we got and it's just gonna go in and burn out those letters. So what you do is you just press coolant on, then you gotta turn the gap power on. There it goes. And it takes off from there. And then these are our wire EDMs and the only difference between um, the sinker is like it's going to come down and it's going to like put in the shape that you want and the wire is just going to use a super thin wire and it's going to actually go around and cut out the shape that you want. And so for these we're making V blocks and so that's what we're going to use for the wires for. And it's primarily used for like dies and really uh, precise like holes and stuff like that. And so this is gonna be our uh, punch press that we have here at the school. And so these are like some examples of students in the past. Um, these people made like the Snapchat emoji. And basically, so like this would be all be assembled and put together. And then your material strip is gonna slide through. And this is gonna like come down and it's gonna punch out this right there. And then it's gonna make whatever they decided to design. So this is another example of something some students made in previous years. And the nice part about these is it's like good for really high production, um, just quick, simple, easy, fast parts. Um, like a lot of stuff you use, like a light switch, a lot of components in there just made in a punch press because it's super quick. And then this is our mold machine that we have here at the school. And this is like, this is a mold of the masks that our instructors made over the summer since we had the whole COVID thing going on. So they made the mold itself in there. And that's what they did over the summer. And then basically this machine just closes up and it uh, injects like liquid plastic and then it hardens and makes one of these bad boys. And then it's got like the insert in here. So it's just a face mask. So. So, and then for the CNC stuff, uh, we make 
a lot of cool parts. And right now we're actually just finishing up making fixtures where like we make, basically you get an idea for the part you wanna make and then you put in these dowel pins as locators and we do clamps. And then fixtures are just like a faster way of making like multiple parts at once. You just put them in the fixture and then you can go from like one operation to another just in that fixture. So it's just a quicker way of producing parts. This is one of our Haas machines. And basically, we're just gonna do a little demo for you. And this is like, we have the Haas and the Fidals, and these are just the mills that we use to make like the parts, and we write our programs for these and then graph them out. Um, so this is like the program, and we actually just like longhand write all of these, and then we go in and graph them out and make sure they work. And so, graph this one here. So that's kind of what our part's gonna look like. This is just the profile out here. And then this is just gonna be the circle pocket in the middle. So that's just a quick little program that we, like something that, like, and what we would do is you would use like the circular program that you saw just to make like different shapes and like just make different things on your parts and use programs like that. Well, I'm not completely done. I'm only a second year about almost halfway through my second year um, but so far I think it's been a really good experience for me and I've had a really good time and I've really learned a lot from it. generally work with tolerances of two to five thousandths of an inch and if you didn't know that it's very small. We need to make sure that we are precise with our machines and with our tools. Each one of these machines has three axes. axes. We have an X, a Y, and a Z. Basically we move our Z to change our height, move our X and our Y to position our tool onto our part, and then we let her rip. So I'm gonna be showing you what we do with this aluminum block. So 
also in our first year, we worked on manual lathes. And lathes, we work on things that have diameters that are circular. When we need to turn down a diameter, which we take it down to maybe an inch, maybe a half an inch, three quarters of an inch, we have to have a lathe where it will be spinning for us to be cutting it as we go, like this. Now we actually start on lathes to uh, begin out the year, and then we move over to mills. Now with something like this lathe, you need to make sure that you do not crash your tools into the chuck, which would be very bad, especially when it's spinning. Now we can make crazy finishes on these types of metals, especially aluminum. Now, as a bonus of the first year students, we start learning how to uh, write programs, create programs, read programs, and on CNC's, we can work with actually uh, 10 thousandths of an inch. And that is crazy amount with all the tech that these have. We learn how to move all this stuff, we learn how to uh, function each one of these, and with CNC's, you can also uh, make ramps, which you moves your X and your Y and your Z sometimes. You really can't do that with a manual because that would have to be crazy precise. With, um, with these as well, most manuals will come with coolant, but CNC, we always use coolant so that we can take bigger passes, faster passes, and it makes, it makes it so our parts are cool and so they don't overheat and build up metal and weld it right onto our tool, which would really suck. As a first year student, the things that have stuck with me the most is that we have part classroom time, but it's mainly only shop and hands-on, and I'm a great hands-on learner. I'm not a very sit down, you do this and that, but hands-on learning that's I honestly love that and being that we have a small class we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one teaching which is really nice and helpful that you don't really get with greater class sizes.